welcome back to another video um, this is episode 20 of the invoice management system all right so in the first few videos i've shown you how to do this invoice okay but i did it while i was doing the models in this one i want to um show you exactly how it is done in a step-by-step -step, um, approach like i said it is already in the application but it was done during the model development okay so i wasn't purposely focusing on the drop down list or the choice list so i've created uh, the step by step approach right here okay in just three simple steps yep three simple steps so i'm going to show you on how to go about that now um this is this can also be a way of validating data let's say if you don't want users to be able to um, input any type of data in a field you can use a choice list to validate that field okay now I'm gonna copy this which is already in the code but I'm gonna change it we already have um, if I go to the um, models you can see it right here okay I want to remove the probe of my invoice but like I said um, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step approach so this is the uh, the what's your name again this is the choice list okay and then you're gonna have the choice right here that is gonna be pointing to this list and you're gonna have the field name right here okay so that's exactly what I have in this code All right now after doing this let's say if your application wasn't having this choice list after doing these two fields or this field you're gonna save it and then do make migrations you're gonna do make migrations and then do migrate All right so that's what I'm gonna do right here since I've updated the list, I'm gonna do Python manager py make migrations, and then I'm gonna do migrate. Okay, so this is all you need to do. Then next will be to uh, have a form or have it listed in the fields of your form. We also have it right here. If I open forms.py you can see I have invoice type um, somewhere right here yeah you can see it is right here so make sure you have that and you can also have it in your update class or your update form okay which I already have here good now uh, those are the only steps that you need to do to be able to do uh, a drop down list okay um, Django call it choice list okay so right after doing that you can check on your application again I'm gonna do refresh oh I need to run the server run server okay right after doing that you can check your server to make sure that you have the drop down list right there okay I've also uh, you can also do this drop down list using the um, foreign key field okay but uh, this tutorial or this project doesn't have that module or doesn't have that uh, um, in this field so I'm not gonna be showing you that uh, you can also refer to uh, the stock management system project that uh, we already cover which have in-depth um, explanation on, on how to do the foreign key field okay now um, that is all I want to show you in this tutorial okay like I said it was already on the application but I've I think I kind of brushed it through and um, some were not fully uh, aware on how to go about that so I believe I figured uh, it would be important to have a full or a, its own blog and its own video so that if you want to focus on only the choice list you will know exactly how to do it Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments or you can drop them on the 
um, on the website itself we also have a patreon link if you want to consider um, supporting us you can sign up for any of these uh, profiles that we have there so as in a way of saying thank you we will provide you the full source code of every single project that we are doing okay so um, see you in the next video